you need some coins to build that dream team you guys have always wanted, head on over to my sponsor, Buy Madden Coins. They have the cheapest, the quickest, and the most reliable coins on the market right now. Make sure to use code Poodle for 20% off at checkout. Hey, what's going on, everybody? It's Poodle back with another Madden Ultimate Team video guide. And today, the time has finally come, in my opinion, the first big promo of Madden 20 has dropped. I do not count Mutt 10 or Superstar promo or Team of the Week as a big promo. Although it did kick the year off, the real kickoff of the year is the kickoff promo. Now, they finally did drop the kickoff promo. It is releasing in approximately a few minutes. I'm obviously recording a little bit before to get my video going and ready. That's how I get this, so, this, how I get this to you guys early. You know, I know you guys like the early content. Right up to date. Xerxes is on vacation, so it's my job to handle this while he's gone. And you never know. Maybe you stay here afterwards because you like it and you want to just stick with my channel instead. Who knows? But guys, the kickoff promo is here. They did release or pre-announce last night on the EA account the new players that they will be releasing the mass i don't know if they're the bosses they might just be the the top pieces like remember last year they had a zeke a casey hayward a few 90 overall pieces and those went in for the bosses again antonio brown luke Eakley, and gronkowski now this year they did release a few so far what we know is we have four 91 overalls and I'm excited, this should come with solos, maybe a free one potentially, but before we get into this video guys, make sure to go down below, give this video a big thumbs up guys, I get this to you guys nice and early, I'm on my point, I'm on point, I'm grinding for you guys, so make sure to hit the like button, get this video to 300 likes for the kickoff promo guys, first big promo, smash the like button, everyone watching this, if you're, if you're ready for the info, smash the like button, turn on the noti bell, comment down below what you think of the players they did release, and what you think of this promo as a whole, and if you haven't already, hit the subscribe button guys, we're so close to 8k, let's get this going, and if you have, and like I said, the noti bell, really important for videos just like this make sure you tap that tap that sorry guys meant that in a different way but guys let's get into this video so the four players they did announce was khalil mack richard sherman deandre hopkins and aaron Rodgers. so i forgot for a second but i got it so so out of the four i think my favorite is probably going to be deandre hopkins and khalil mack now that is only because aaron Rodgers is not mobile and it seems like the meta right now is going to be mobile quarterbacks so unless there's a big step for Boston, I don't think Aaron Rodgers' price will be too tremendous if you guys do like Aaron Rodgers or you're a Packers fan. Richard Sherman's a little too slow for my liking. His height and stats make up for it, but he's still a little too slow, especially with how the game is progressing, with speed being a factor already in the game. But I think I will like that Khalil Mack, although he is very comparable with Von Miller, which is the only issue with Khalil Mack, because a lot of the community has Von Miller already, because Von Miller was free for trophies. So in the terms that you already have Von Miller, you might not want Khalil Mack, because their stats are almost identical. But I think Khalil Mack will be the better long-term option. But if they're the same overall, maybe it's Von Miller now because Von Miller will probably get the next big upgrade. And DeAndre Hopkins, I only like him because I do have him powered up to a 89 overall already, so I could use that. He does have an 87 speed, guys. Now, once he's all released, I will be getting you guys all the cards and stuff. So let's skip to that. So guys, the kickoff promo has officially dropped. I'm so hyped. Ultimate kickoff solo challenges right here. Let's go into this. So milestone so far, it's ultimate kickoff collectible, ultimate kickoff collectible team captain upgrade token i had a feeling that was coming guys so you do get a token from the solo challenger so make sure you guys are playing these this is going to be huge considering the fact that our ryan Shazier's, herman moore's and maybe ty law i don't even know if anyone did dallas clark but those guys are already top tier 90 overall cards chemed up to 91s for me this will make my ryan Shazier even more of a beast than he already is we get at tier 4 another ultimate team collectible a tier 5, another ultimate kickoff collectible. Tier 6, another collectible. Tier 7, another collectible. Tier 8, another collectible. Tier 9, another collectible. Tier 10, another collectible. Tier 11, another collectible. Tier 12, tier 13, tier 14, tier 15, tier 16, tier 17, tier 18. So we do get a grand total, I believe. Let's count this up. I imagine there's a set now. So I don't know if these collectibles would be enough for one player. We will find that out in a second. But let's count them. So we got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. 16, 17. So we get 17 total tokens. Now, solo challenges, there is going to be, let's see how many there are. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. I believe it's just every team. Okay, so there's 32 of them. I can get that now. So there's 32 of them. So to get the total stars you need, which is a grand total, I believe 160 stars and 32 teams, you will have to get a minimum of about four stars per solo challenge. So to get four stars, obviously you're going to want to play these on. I mean, I like to play them on hard because I'll get them done the quickest. If you get five, if you get five stars per each one, it'll only take you guys. Oh, maybe you do need them all. No, you need five stars each. My bad. You need five stars in every one to get every collectible. So let's see if you do five stars and all, it's hard. And these do start in the fourth quarter for some of them. If they all start in the fourth quarter, that's not bad. I don't, I'm not entirely sure. Let's see. Fourth, third. No, some of them start in the third. So some in third and some in fourth. It's kind of like a journey challenge. Not too long, not too hard. 
Now, I imagine they're not going to be that hard, even if you played them on hard. Let's go over to the objective to see if we have anything there, guys. So far, I'm excited to see, because I think those collectibles can guarantee us maybe one free, which would be huge. Let's see if there's anything in the objectives. Why is this lag really bad right now? I don't know if you guys can tell that. Let's go over to sets and see if they have a new kickoff set, which they should be. Let's see. Kickoff, 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 kickoff. I'm seeing nothing so far. Classic Madden. But, guys, we do get a grand total of 17 collectibles. So, I imagine that those collectibles will be very useful, because I'm... The way EA likes to typically run these promos is we get one free player typically from these new promos, like Mud Superstar, one free. Team Theme Diamonds, one free. There's typically something you get for stuff like this, like with house rules. Now, maybe they'll drop a special house rules for these. I do not entirely know, but if they did, that'll be next Tuesday, most likely. But as a whole, if we do get 17 grand collectibles, grand total 17 collectibles, I'd imagine maybe a full one's like 17 or 20. How to get the rest of the collectibles, I do not know. Maybe they just give you enough for one. I couldn't exactly answer that for you guys because I do not see the set. Yeah, let's back in and out real quick to go check this out. But if we do get a free one, guys, that's pretty cool because I do not know if there's bosses yet or if there's full cards. Or like if the, I don't know if the Max Sherman and uh, Rogers and Hopkins are the full cards. If they are, then you can maybe get one of those, which would be cool. Even if they're not, I could really care less. But if it is, in fact, just those four and then there's Masters, it'll be greatly different to how I'm going to go about this. So I do not see everything in the thing yet. It is lagging really bad right now, so I imagine they're probably dropping some more stuff. I don't know why everything's never out right away. Go back to solo. I don't see anything, obviously. I don't know why Madden does this. Like, how do you drop the solo challenges and not everything else? It doesn't even make sense to me. It's lagging bad. It's lagging real bad right now. Let's go check sets again if they don't check sets. If they're not in the sets, let's see. If they're not in sets, I'll just back out real quick, cut that out, and then I'll get back to the rest of the video for you guys in a second. I do not see anything yet, so let's close Madden. Okay, so guys, obviously it is not dropping the game yet. I don't know what's up with it, but I do want to get this video off for you guys nice and early. So let's go over to Twitter for now to show you guys the Masters. And I'll go over all the content I just learned from the stream. But pretty much, DeAndre Hopkins, the first captain I see here. He's got he's 6 foot 1, 87 speed, 94 jumping, 90 catching, 90 catch traffic, 90 spec catch, 87 short route running, 86 medium route running, 83 deep route running. If you power this guy up like I will, he'll be 92 overall. He'll have 88 speed. He'll have above all the catching thresholds, 94 jumping. He's going to be one of the best jump ball receivers in the game. Not to mention his short route and medium route might break the threshold if you come up properly. Definitely going to be a beastly wide receiver. I will be picking him up. Now, next on the list, we got Richard Sherman. He has six foot three, 84 speed, 85 excel, 91 agility, 94 jumping, 93 play rec, 87 man, 94 zone, 92 press. If you power this guy up and you chem him up properly, he will have the man, zone, press, play rec, jumping, and agility threshold. And he's six foot three. Pretty beastly corner. The speed does discourage me, but from what I've been told and how Madden kind of plays, maybe at six foot three with an 85 speed won't be horrible considering his zone and man abilities and press. Obviously, don't press him because if you press him, you most likely will get burned. But if you play him in a zoner, man, he probably should be clamps. Next, we got Aaron Rodgers, 91 overall quarterback. He's got 76 speed, 91 throw power, 92 throw accuracy short, 84 throw accuracy mid, kind of low, 88 throw accuracy deep, 84 throw under pressure, 90 play uh, throw on the run, and 85 play action. With those stats, guys, not going to lie, I'd much rather have Lamar Jackson or Vic. His speed's low, his mids throw, which is very important to me, his deep. Obviously, if you kept him up and power him up, he will have the throw accuracy short and deep um, threshold. He hits the play action and throw power threshold. I mean, he hits the throw on the run and throw power threshold, but his under pressure is kind of bad to me. His play action is kind of bad, but that's irrelevant. And his mids kind of bad to me too for an Aaron Rodgers card. So in my opinion, I'm kind of out on him. And then we got Khalil Mack. Khalil Mack's going to be one of the most dominant outside linebackers in the game. He is kind of capped by the fact that there is a Von Miller out that's literally identical to him. Khalil Mack's got an 82 speed, 84 excel, 84 strength, 85 tackle, 92 play rec, 86 block shedding, and 90 power move, and 85 finesse move. If you do power him up and chem him up properly, you could hit the block shed threshold, the 90 power move threshold, the play rec threshold, but that's about it. In my opinion, this card's almost identical to Von Miller. So for that reason, I don't know if he's worth cashing out for. Obviously, I think I'd rather have Mac. But now that Mac just got his card and they only tied, I think the next card might go to Von Miller. Unless Mac gets an, um, an October promo card. But Von Miller might be getting the next card. So I wouldn't go cash out and sell your Von Miller and go spend all these coins in terms of just getting the Mac if that is your priority. Although Mac is going to be a beast, it may be not worth spending three, 400k powering this guy up and everything when there is a Von Miller that we got for free, and I imagine a lot of you guys have him. Okay, guys, so we're back to the Madden screen. Now, what I did learn is that a lot of these cards in the sets, right? They're not released yet, but a lot of these cards from the promo, they're going to be the 91 Masters, which is Hopkins, Rogers, Sherman, and Khalil Mack. I just went over. They're going to be, the rest are all like 83s. Now, these 83s might seem a little low, but Crayola did extra, um, explain it on the stream to, uh, from what I got from it. Pretty much these cards are like evolution cards if you guys play 2K or like they're kind of like power-ups, but not exactly. 
they progressively get better. So the way these work, they all start at 83 overalls, and for every win that their NFL team in real life gets, they go up in overall. So these could be potentially great investments. So like, Derek Carr's an 84 already, because the Raiders started off 1-0. So pretty much, if you get cards from the best teams in the league, they will probably break a 90 overall. So now they cap it at a 93. So pretty much the team needs only 10 wins to get them at their 93 max, which I don't know how I feel about, right? Because they got it this way. Unless they're like super cheap, right? And you're a no money spent team, maybe. But if they're super cheap, okay, fine. But if they're going for like 70K for 83 overalls, because like we don't know what these are going to go for because they do progressively get better. But guys like Carson Wentz, let's say you get a quarterback. 83 overall. 10 weeks from now, we will be in December around the Christmas promo. So if the, car if the Eagles get 10 wins and Carson Wentz is now a 93 overall, by the time he gets 10 wins, I think we'll have way better quarter. We already have Vic and Lamar who are already above 90 overalls. Like, I don't really know how I feel about that. Maybe a lineman would be cool, right? An 83 overall lineman in 10 weeks, he's like a 93 and then you could use him. So that could be potentially useful. Maybe defensive tackle. I'd maybe go positions that I won't want to buy. They're good investments and their quick sell value goes up weekly. Now these cards don't come with power-ups. Now what I got from that is I think these cards won't be getting power-ups. I don't know how that works, but for the time being, it could be a good investment if you buy like an 83 for like 40k and then there'll be a 93 in like a few weeks and then you can sell them for in 10 weeks and then you can sell them for like 150k or you could quick sell them because their quick sell value does go up every overall so an 83 they quick sell for like 500 let's say and or 400 something 300 and then when they go to an 84 they quick sell for like 500 and then they get all the way to an 88 they quick sell for however much 88 quick sell for which is like 2460 so it progressively does go up so there is benefits to having that in that sense but in my opinion, I don't know how I feel about that. Because if you let's say you got all of them, you'll have a whole 93 overall squad come Christmas, which isn't bad for the ones that do do good. But teams that do bad aren't that useful. So in my opinion, I'd probably invest in linemen, maybe a tight end as a backup, maybe a fullback, maybe a defensive tackle, maybe a kicker if they have one. Those are kind of the cards I would probably be going with just so I don't have to buy them later on. But I can't recommend like a wide receiver. Like you go wide receiver, he'll be a 93 overall in 10 weeks. At that point, we already have way better receivers. We have a Torrey Holt, same thing with linebacker. I'm not entirely sure how I feel about that as a whole. Now, guys, because it is not dropping, I want to get this to you guys earlier. I can't keep waiting for this promo to actually drop, but I think I got the bulk of it out. I watched the whole stream. You guys kind of have an understanding. So remember, limited time cards. Also remember that they will be going down to non-limited time cards when Series 2 does drop. And as far as kickoff goes, the 83 overalls do progressively get better. There are four masters. There is solo challenges that I went over in this video, but from what it looks like is that these solo challenges give you 17 free. So until we see the sets, we will not know, but I could imagine that the 17 free will give us at least one free player. I'm not entirely sure just yet. But guys, that is about it for the video. As soon as I know if we do get a free player from this, I will update you guys with another video. But for the time being, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope this gives you guys tons of information and this helps you guys out prepare for the kickoff promo. That should be dropping like any minute now. But that's about it. Make sure you hit, hit the subscribe button, guys. Let's get us to 8K by tomorrow if we could possibly. We're like 150 away. I greatly appreciate that. Everyone watching, hit the sub button. Make sure to give the video a big thumbs up. Did a lot of research. Got this video to 300 likes. Comment down below what you think of these kickoff promo and what you think of the new kickoff masters. And that's it, guys. Turn on the naughty bell. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'm out. See you guys in the next video. Peace.